Do you remember this painting? Today I want to hang my painting on the wall. I want to show you how I do it because I had a few problems in the past where my painting, the way I hooked it, was kind of leaning off the wall too much. So I want to prevent this and I feel like there's not that much online that I could find that would prevent that. I'll show you what I do. Here's what I'm using. I'll be using the hooks like this. There's different sizes supposed to match the canvas. I think this size should be good enough for this canvas. Comes with little screws. We need wire and I try to make sure that it can withstand the weight of the painting. Cutters. A level screwdriver and this is optional but I like to use it. I'll show you how. I always lay down a piece of cloth on my table to make sure that the painting isn't damaged. I worked so hard on it, wouldn't want to damage it. First of all, for this, there's a flat side that goes on the canvas as opposed to the other side, you know, the flat side onto the canvas is ideal but actually i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna hang it on the non-flat side because let me explain why i'm not telling you to do what i'm doing i'm just telling you that's what i'm gonna be doing so the logic of using the flat side on the canvas is to have a good solid surface when you go in and you screw instead of having a gap in between the screw and the d-ring but i'm noticing that if I do it this way, this D-ring has a lot of movement and can make the wire come off this uh, canvas a lot. And that's what I'm trying to prevent. I don't want the wire to come off. So I'm going to do it the other side, but I'm going to screw it close enough to the edge that I feel like I'm going to get a good adherence. The other thing that I'm going to do is instead of having it too low on the canvas, like here, let's say, I'm going to put it pretty high. I'm going to put it four inches from the top here. Same on the other side. There you go. All right. Now the wire. I'm going to measure it so that it's flat and straight and leaving a couple inches on each side. I hate doing this bit. My goal here is to have a very taut wire, as taut as possible. And I'm hoping that this is going to prevent that leaning off the wall as much as possible. It's going to lean a little bit, but I'm just hoping that it's not too much. Editing Cynthia here. I did some research on Google, found a super interesting, informative article on how to do this properly with all the calculations. If you're curious, I linked it in the description. What I'm doing is not accurate because if you put the hooks high and the wire taut, it could create a lot of pressure on that middle point and it could cause damage to the frame of the painting and all that. So I'm not doing it correctly, but I'm still doing it. My own personal choice. I'm just saying that the right way to do it is not exactly like that. That's why there's the one third from the top rule and the one third from the top and the not taut um, wire causes the tilt. I don't want the tilt. I also don't want to do what is recommended in the article. So I'm not going to hang any paintings on top of my bed while I sleep just in case it falls on my head. And I'm not recommended that you're doing what I'm doing. I'm just showing you what I'm doing today in the studio. Enjoy. So I'm bending it really tightly here around the ring, but then just around the wire itself like this. And I want this as taut as possible. I'm bending it like this, then around itself. Now that I twisted it enough here, I'm just gonna, instead of twisting it all the way here and having all the pointy bits in the middle of the wire, I'm just gonna bring it back here and loosely twist it back closer to the ring. 
and have the wires point down like really out of the way of my fingers and as you can see as taut as i tried to make it there's still a lot of give some people use a little hook like this to put on the wall and hang the paint the wire on this i prefer to use a screw i feel like a screw with those plastic things you put on the wall is the most secure that it feels on the wall very often i'm lazy and i just put in a nail but the screw a sturdy screw is ideal for me let's see if this worked And because of the poster gum, I can really tweak the last little bits and push it in, you know, make it not only secure, but like pushing in a few millimeters one side or the other. Does it lean off the wall? That's the question. Look, it doesn't. Perfect. Is it perfect, bud? What do you think? So having the wire pretty up high, a lot of people say a third down the painting, but I haven't found that it worked that much for me. Maybe I wasn't doing it right, but putting the wire really up high, super taut, and having that poster gum, it works for me, at least. And now to flex the creative muscle just a little bit, I think I want to do a super quick, super quick abstract landscape but i want to give it a little twist i want to pick two random colors well black and white obviously because obviously but let's pick two random colors like really random oh my god look i have some here let me just like put them all up here those ones let me remove this white from here and let me just like move this around like we don't know where what what is okay we don't know i'm gonna turn the car like i don't know what is what anymore and i'm gonna pick let me pick like i'm not looking really not looking i picked one thing and i picked another thing oh no there's three okay green and so I'm gonna brown raw umber. Those are the colors. Also, oh my God, this is gonna be hard. Oh no. Whatever. I wanted also to include a little bit of um, metallic in a landscape. And I think, why not today? Like abstract landscape with a little thing of metallic. So. Should I do gold or copper? I'm trying to figure it out. Because right now I have this, this green here. Gold or copper? Mm, can you tell me? Scream it to me loud enough so I can hear you. Gold or copper? I think both would look so nice. I'm thinking that if I lighten the green to a super light shade of green, the copper would pop more. I'll go with copper just because of that reason to have a bit more like options. Wish me luck.
here it is, freshly done. Let me show you maybe outside, it would look nicer. I think there might be a better lighting outside, let's see. I think I like it, it's very neutral for me. Aside from the big pop of copper, everything is very neutral. I'm not used to it, but I think I love it. I really like doing things like this, giving myself rules and limitations. I feel like it really forces me to get outside of my natural instinct of reaching for the same thing all the time, you know? And for once I was able to do a pretty minimal sky. I have trouble with that. I think I like it. If you want more inspiration, you can go watch this one next. If you have tips for me on how to hang paintings properly, if you are super pro, leave it in the comments. I'll see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.